Here's a question. Do lower thirds and banners matter? Yes, I suppose it should. It should, right? Real talk, what is more important? The fact that my question or guest name and company is on the screen or how that information is displayed and animated? I want you to put your answer in the comments. But since I'm on screen, I get to share mine here. And that is simply this. It's tiered, y'all. <laughs> it's tiered. Meaning there are levels to this thing. Base requirement is to have them available, but none of us wants to stay at the base, right? And who would want to do that? The goal is to get to a place where your banners, graphics, lower thirds, logos, even your color palette best represent your brand, which means you've got to be intentional. That's yeah, right. That's right. Kirk Nugent here for EV Mux, your live streaming sweet spot, letting you know they've rolled out a ton of new branding options for our live shows. Let's take a look at updated banners and lower thirds. So here we are in EV Mux. We're looking at a studio here and I'm on a dynamic scene. We're gonna take a look at pro scenes in a second, but I'm on a dynamic scene and you're seeing that we are in the layers category right here, seeing layers and under layers, we have logo, overlay, video clips, background. We have all of these um, options under layers, but you may have noticed this slight little tweak. If you've been using EV Mux as long as I have, you'll notice that down here at the bottom, you have brand. We're going to get to that in a second. Brand is where some of those tweaks and changes can be made. But what we're going to do is first off, add my camera to the screen. We've got that added there and you can see there's already a lower third on that camera. And this is already customized for the particular studio that I'm in, but I'm going to show you how that was done. I want to show you how that was done. Now, next thing I'm also going to do is put up a ticker on screen. We've got a ticker going on screen. You can see that now. So the ticker is on screen and we can also put up a banner. So tickers on screen, banners on screen. When the banner is on screen, my lower third goes away. It's just trying to give you some of the updates in terms of how these things flow and work together. They take the, the, the lower third off so that it doesn't clash with the banner. So we've got our banner here, we've got our ticker, lower third is off screen. Let's take the ticker off screen, banner still stays, put the ticker back, take the banner off screen, that animates off and now my lower third is back. Similarly, if I go to comments and I have a sample comment here, I can put a comment on screen and the comment will animate on screen the same way. Both banners and comments are uh, set up and designed based on your brand. So we're going to leave these here and make some tweaks to the brand and see how that changes these two items that we have on screen. So now what do we got to do to do that? We have to actually go down here to the brand. So we're going to click on brand and you can see right at the top, you have banners and comment style. Now I'll, I'll be honest with you. One of the things that I uh, was struggling with in terms of my look and feel and design for uh, streaming my show with EV Mux was that some of the banners, uh, some of the way they animated on screen just didn't speak to me, but I absolutely love these new ones that they've given us. So right now we're using style two. Let's take a look at what style one looks like. That's pretty funky. You got that, that comment there. And let's go back to banners uh, and actually put the banner on there just to kind of get a feel for, okay, what does the banner look like in this style? And so we see what that looks like. And we also get a chance to see what that ticker looks like as well. I'm gonna keep that there. Let's go back to our brand. Let's go to style number three. So this is what the banner and ticker looks like in style number three. We'll just, we'll swap with that comment and see what that looks like. Huh, pretty cool, pretty interesting. And again, there is an animation to it. It has a transparency behind the actual comment itself. I think it's pretty cool. Here's style number four. So we see this is just a little bit more compact, uh, slightly simpler, but I like it. I do like it. Um, and again, you have that that ticker right across the bottom of your screen. So let's go back to banners and let's see, okay, what, what does the banner look like? And so we have that tiered banner uh, where you have welcome to the show. We are looking at branding options, really nice, really clean, 
really uh, well presented on screen. But one of the things I want you to notice also as we get ready to to shift a little bit is that there is an option here for project logo being in the banner, right? You can there's an option to put your project logo in the banner. Additionally, you can actually have your date and time in the ticker. These are some of the functions and features that they've, they've added under branding that will have effect and impact on your banners and different things that display on screen. Uh, similarly, right under branding, you also have your primary color. So, of course, for the EVMUX brand, we have that EVMUX color that's there. That's their hex code. And that color is infused in all the different things that you will see either for banners or for lower thirds or for comments that are displayed on screen. Now, I'm going to go back to my banners. We're going to turn these off. So we have just me on screen again, along with my lower third. And we go back to our brand, right? You gotta keep remembering, brand is at the bottom. Used to be at the top, brand is at the bottom. Now, lower thirds, you can actually just go ahead and turn it off just by hitting that option right there. Maybe you don't wanna have lower thirds. Maybe you've designed uh, overlay that has a lower third in it. You have the option of turning that off. And again, the show is yours, so you get to do whatever you wanna do. But if you are gonna use these lower thirds, it is so cool that you have everything already set up and designed in some so many different ways. So here's one version of the lower third. This is not uh, dependent on the styles that we saw up here earlier with banners and comments. This is specific to lower thirds and you can determine, you can choose which option you want here in this section. Then lastly, you have these two options and both of them are good. But lastly, you also have custom. I'm going to click on custom and I'm going to ask you guys to hold your breath <laughs> because in the custom section, once I get in here, you have you, you have your, your your canvas, you have the, the existing one that's there, but then you can click on choose different style and this opens the floodgates. There are so many different styles of lower thirds that you can choose from. Wow. Evie Mux, thank you so much coming through so clutch. Several different ways that you can have this animate and stay on screen. Um, and so here we're gonna choose this last one. And because I have the option selected show always, um, these other options are not available to me because I'm just gonna have that lower third on screen at all times. But if I uncheck this show always, I can have delay before start, I can have hide after, I can have repeat every eight seconds, five seconds, I can choose my main color and secondary color. You can really dial in your brand and your preference even with your lower third. And you can see that how that takes impact and effect once we come out of this section, you can see that that lower third is on screen. And so these are really cool. But one of the things that I want to share with you is that branding is critically important for your live show. And EV Mux has given us myriad of options that we can choose from in terms of how we can tweak it and really make it our own. When building an audience using live video, a major buzzword is brand. Branding in a larger sense encompasses loyalty, credibility, authenticity, and consistency with a selected topic, service, or solution. For live video creators, one of the ways you build consistency in branding is how you present yourself during your live show. Take advantage of these additional and updated features from EV Mux to deliver a consistent experience establishing your brand. Learn more EV Mux best practices from these videos. Thank you.